going to show off my Holy Bolt uh, Fist of Heavens Paladin. This time my microphone's working. Um, to start this, if you are looking for an in-game mapper, I do not recommend this build. Um, I am pushing it as far as I think makes sense, as far as I think is probably possible or probable. Um, but this is not an in-game mapper. Really what it comes down to is you have to stop to cast, and that makes it too slow. Um, so getting into it, we'll start off with the stats. So you want enough strength to wear your gear. I'm running the Griswold set. Uh, that name's probably pronounced wrong by me, but there we go. Uh, I have max block, so just decks up to max block. Uh, do note that I think as you level, that gets higher, so you do have to put a couple points in there. Um, last time I tried to shoot a video, mine was at 70. The rest, I'm dumping everything in Vit, and I'm overcapped on my res. Lightning is boosted because I'm wearing a T-Gods quick rundown here there's my resistance uh, my faster cash rate is the last break point you don't need that you could get away with 75 if you needed to my FHR I'm boosting with charms up to 50 you're probably fine with really no FHR I really like to hit that 86 break point um, but I don't know if we'll get there faster run walk I mean I can change over to vigor if I need that in town not not too concerned about that uh, my magic font is 296. Um, I can take that higher right now. Um, I have on my set that is uh, all plus skills. All right, so getting into the skills. So right now we are 47 um, in Fist of Heaven's Holy Nova, Holy Light, and Holy Bolt. Um, got a lot of points put into Holy Shield. I think you theoretically could max that. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. I think I've got plenty, if not too many. Um, I'm holding on to these points to maybe go Joust. I don't like Joust, so to get away with that, I have a Steel Spell on my Switch, which gives me 60 Blink Charges, which is plenty to get where I need to go. Offensive Warriors, I have zero points in it. Uh, the main reason is, I think Sanctuary is a scam. It was redone, and it is certainly better for magic damage. Um, the problem with it is, this radius is capped at 10 yards. So even if you put it on a mercenary, I do not think it's worth it one bit. Uh, that 10 yards doesn't do a lot. When you scale this to level 20, I think it's only negative 7 team magic resistance. Uh, much more interested in conviction if you want to go that route. As you see, the radius starts at 17.3 yards, negative 19 defense, and negative 12% resistance. Uh, Fist of Heavens does lightning damage. So you will get some use out of that. And then the Holy Bolt's on top of it. That's your AoE skill. Holy Bolt, obviously, is your single target damage and heal your buddies. Uh, defensive Auras, I took all the standard stuff. Uh, one extra point in Cleansing. I would recommend Salvation if you're going to play with friends. If your Mercenary dies a lot and you run out of mana, um, you can maybe put a point there, but I really don't recommend it. Uh, that's where your... Man, after each kill comes into play. So now you'll see what I've done. So I have plus one skills, all the things with max sockets except the shield. So here we're just going magic fine. Again, magic fine. Here, what I would change is I would get a three socket in one. And I would go um, um, rune. And then I would go cham for the cannot be frozen. Uh, the reason being here is I think you could get away from these boots or any boots that have cannot be frozen on them. It's really the only good place I've found to get it. And I could go with a boot um, that gives me mana after each kill. I don't need resistance. Uh, really, mana or life after each kill would be the big benefit here. These aren't slammed. You could slam them with something, get boost. Uh, this is a self-crafted and corrupted ring. Um, so the big thing here is 20 FCR. And the two mana after each kill. The extra mana obviously helps out a good bit. Um, this will eventually become an arch. And so the point there is to get the plus one skill instead of the plus two lightning skills. That only helps Fist of Heavens. Uh, that'll bump me up to 48. I believe. Let's double check. Yeah, 48 for everything. So this will only lose one skill. Not a big deal. Uh, ring, I just picked this up today, so the goal here, again, mana after each kill. Lightning Absorb could be higher, but the Magic Font is always nice. These are not corrupted, uh, but they have really high reduced curse duration, and they have really high maximum mana. Again, beneficial. On the Switch, we're running the Spell Still, like I said, so this is to get the Blink Charges. You could run uh, Call to Arms to get the extra plus one skill here. 
you can get another plus one skill here. Um, it's just whatever any that uh, I bought and ID'd. I've got some charms to hit the FHR breakpoint. Again, you don't really need resistance. A few lifers at one point. Um, we'll swap back over. I had 1,800 life, and I'll show you my other set. Magic Fond charms for the rest. Geeds here, again, you can get a plus one skill. So in theory, I think we get to 51 uh, for all our combat skills. You could get faster hit recovery here. That would boost you up, and you could get a better torch. But again, torches are torches, right? So get into the switch. If we can find where I hit all these at, definitely don't know. Probably should have planned that out before I did the video. Hmm. Yeah, I really, really don't know. There we go, maybe. So I do have full magic fawn swap. So we can go ahead and throw this up. And we can show you what it would look like with full magic fawn. So full magic fawn will get you almost to 350. Um, these doesn't doesn't have anything in it. This doesn't have anything from Magic Find, but they are Magic Find corrupts, Magic Find corrupt, and this one isn't a Magic Find corrupt. So maybe I should find my one that is, because um, that's really less interesting. All right, so we'll have to find. The, I've lost the one that is Magic Find corrupt for that, um, but that'll give you an idea here. So you could get a lot of Magic Find if you wanted to. I'm creating a new game real fast. I'll show you Chaos. This is already getting long. Uh, that's the struggle here you ramble on in these videos so again just to do chaos in terms of volume down on my computer just making sure I had volume this time on the mic hopefully you guys can hear me it's not like the last one this build is incredible tanky um, my mercenary will show her off real fast um, this is just getting some damage on her a little bit of safety a little bit of damage and safety Andy's is always nice a little bit of damage and a little bit of magic fun on these. So we'll run through here and show you real fast again. But this build is not fast, it is safe. So that's what I want people to understand. I really would use this beginning of the season as my starter to help out my friends and party play, maybe some early mapping to run chaos, uh, primeval souls to run corrupted zones. Uh, I think that's what we call them. You get worldstone shards. Uh, it can do keys. I mean, again, if you're a fifth efficient with pathing and you understand how pathing works um, you can run keys especially uh, destruction keys is really good for running um, halls of pain uh, even halls of dead so you can get terror keys pretty fast and then i would run blood raven to round it out you can get a three by three pretty quickly i think it took me about an hour about 20 games for running those three uh, that was on extreme hot streak yesterday on extreme dry streak uh, really, this is kind of funded by a Worldstone Charge, if we're being honest here. A few Prime Souls have been sold, sold to uh, get gear. It's got pretty nice mana um, after each kill, so the debate here would be change these out to put, use three mana after each kill jewels. That would give me nine mana after each kill. We do the same thing with lifers. That would maybe make me not have to use redemption for party play. Um, give and take, right? Like That's the beauty of this build. You can kind of play it how you want to. You can teleport around here. You can make this really fast. I mean, you can do well under two minutes. Uh, for a chaos run, we're gonna show off the map real fast. Again, I'm trying to I'm trying to push your guys because I know we're already at about nine minutes. Um, so I don't want to make 15 minute video, which is what it's gonna end up being, but I do want to give you guys an idea of how to play it and again why it's not an in-game macro, but it is really good for uh, the LOD zones. So like I said, the, the end goal here is to get a 20 FCR Arachnids Mesh. Um, that would be, that would let this ring go away. Another plus one skill there. That would clean that up nicely. Uh, that would be about as far as I can push it without getting into too much more. Uh, the two skill Annie, do a little bit there. Um, and we'll see. All right, so we're gonna run this map. So this is nothing crazy, it's just something I found and slammed. Um, show you guys off a little bit. This is probably my favorite to run on this character. Um, it's a T1, it's relatively easy. Um, you can run Redemption, so you don't have to worry about these unholy corpses coming back. I find it drops a lot of charms, and that's really what I like about this map. Um, 
if I slammed one with the plus charms and jewels 1% chance, and I swear it dropped more than the unique map uh, that me and a friend ran, and we were quite confused, and after that I really got to a point that I liked these, I think they're really easy to run, again, this build is really safe, I'm not paying that much attention, uh, at one mercenary, she lives, guys, um, she does really well, I think. Uh, you can really run whatever you want to run for Mercenary. The popular choice, probably the choice that works best by the numbers, is going to be something like Asylum. Give you that uh, horror or Sanctuary, I believe it is. Don't quote me on that. Like I said, it feels like a scam to me. Um, just doesn't do a lot of damage. Even when I'm running with friends that uh, have chargers or you know things like that, where they use that horror a lot, where they're doing some magic damage, physical damage. I just don't really see the big impact. Again, I like this build in the way that it's safe, right? It, it feels very much like you're playing almost a summon macro or something like that, where you're, you're a lot more active on this build, don't get me wrong, but it's just the level of safety. I can just sit there and fake tank bosses and drink free jubes, which isn't a fun way to play, right? Like, we, we all complain that a lot of bossing in this game is really just drink free jubes. Um, actually, we were trying to run deep on yesterday and my friend died. So I ended up drinking three jubes, got defaulted down to about half health before, before I died in a way I fully don't understand, but basically defaulted just one hit me and it wasn't from lightning. Um, I was actually kind of tanking those pretty well and just drinking a rejuve and being alright. But like I said, this thing will progress through pretty fast. It'll even do T2s pretty fast. T3s get kind of sluggish. Um, you end up, you know, two, three hitting things at that point a lot more. Here you're pretty much kind of one hit and just keep it pushing. The holy bolts really do. Most of the damage for you, and so you just want to get these big packs, the big densities help. This is where your mana and life after each kill really come into play. Oh, sweet. Uh, I was actually needing some reroll orbs, so that'll work out nicely. Um, I can't show off one thing I like about this build again. In the Fist of Heavens, I just sat here and just hold down, and I don't have to worry about it really. Kind of wave it over in a general direction. Uh, limbs are gold. We always know that. I actually need to build my uh, Barbarian maybe for reroll uh, runes and gems and gold. Um, I'm kind of running low, which is funny because I was like, oh, I'm definitely not going to build it this season. But yeah, we'll, we'll run through here. Uh, we'll show you guys another you know, two minutes. So we know there'll be two or three of these. I'll come back and clean this up after the video. Um, I'm not going to sit here and chase them for a good little bit. I'm trying to talk to you folks would probably be pretty boring to watch. Uh, but that's that's a huge win for me. I haven't had one of those events in a while. And like I said, just kind of a random down and down. So I haven't really wasted a lot of money on this. If I get my shard back here, I'll be happy. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about the season. I'm really enjoying the Terrorize Zones, whatever we're calling them these days. Uh, I'm actually just going to stop looping looting entirely since I know I gotta come back and I'll grab a map or you know high rank of the drums. Um, but I'm really enjoying those. I mean I know obviously it dropped World Stone Shard prices which which sucks, right? Like that was a good way to make some money and I think worked out well for some of us that don't just map 24 7 with our friends or you know run torches or annies or something like that. I really enjoy just being able to slam things and not care anymore. Uh, it's quite nice, it makes the game feel a lot more fun. I do like Lawsuit and his friend group. They had uh, some pretty good ideas around like slams that were penalties but not bricks. Um, I enjoy that. I enjoy items being useful, especially rares. Um, I, I think rares still are a little bit under love. I mean, I get it for you know maybe the melee builds that you know, you're doing crafts more than anything that probably makes the most sense. But being a classic Diablo 2 guy, you know, I see things drop and I'm like, well, that's great and classic, but it does nothing here. Um, you, know, you can upgrade some of that stuff. But, yeah, trying to try get to the boss here. Maybe I'll just teleport real fast. Well, I don't have really charges, but again, you can see it's, it's fairly safe. And it just kind of rolls through. But it's not fast. And that's, that's where the struggle bus begins and ends. But yeah, guys, I'm not going to hold you up here. Uh, maybe I'll clip together me doing deep home badly uh, and show you guys how I died. And we'll go from there. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're having a good season. And I'll see you guys when this thing is done to show you if it's any better. But I, I just don't see it scaling much anymore.